let's continue on post-operative fluid management. Today, we're going to talk about the maintenance IV fluid. So now the patient doesn't have abnormal losses or significant abnormal losses, but the patient is in PO and we need to replace our physiologic losses. So please make sure you watch the maintenance IV fluid video before you come here. So as we explained in maintenance IV, in maintenance IV fluid, we said we need to give here some free water, right? Uh, it, sodium, potassium, and some sugar or calories to prevent catabolism. Now, post-operative, we need to be careful. Remember, we talked about the possibility of SIADH, a lot of fluid shift. So the main concern has been all is hyponatremia. So some advice even against using hypotonic solution in post-operative period because the risk of hyponatremia. And as I said, there are some reported cases where patient died in the post-operative period because of severe hyponatremia, giving hypotonic solution and the sodium was not being monitored. I have to say, as long as you're monitoring sodium and potassium at least on daily basis remember that please order daily cmp or bmp do not forget that then you have two options here either you can use the isotonic solution or i prefer to use our famous maintenance iv fluid solution which is the d5w half an S plus 20 of potassium. Okay. And here at post-operative, they suggesting to 30 ml per kg per day, which is a close really to the equation we used before, which is 1500 CC plus 20 multiplied by weight. And this will give you, uh, this will give you mil as uh, right per day it will be close it will range from really uh, around 75 to 150 mil per hour and as i said the only i think you can use it in all cases as long as you're monitoring this except in neurosurgery neurosurgery always please use isotonic solutions please now if you are still really nervous about hyponatremia in post-operative period you can start with an isotonic solution instead of this you put an ns and then monitor this if the sodium going up you can switch to hypotonic now remember based on the sodium and potassium you adjust this solution if the patient is getting hyponatremic, you make this instead of half an S, an S. If the patient is getting hypernatremic, you change it to half an S. If the patient hypokalemic, you increase the 20. If hyperkalemic, you cross this, right? If the patient diabetic, you rather not to use this with the blood sugar going high. So this is how you, and this maintenance eye fluid continue until the patient having adequate oral intake. And as I said, this is usually, you have to take it in consideration with surgery. In reality, a lot of surgeons, they like lactate drinker, right? And I don't see if they tell us they would rather use lactate drinker. I would continue using lactate drinker. If I need to add D5W to that, I would. And I remember, very important, please, please remember, monitor electrolytes at least on once a day in all post-operative maintenance fluid remember neurosurgery please do not use hypotonic solutions if the patient having hyponatremia to start with after surgery please avoid any hypotonic solutions as i said we just want to make sure our patient they don't get hyponatremic post-operatively and if they do we catch it very early and treat it immediately and we'll talk about the treatment of hyponatremia on separate videos. 
I'll see Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.